Okay, we're now going to look at the topic numerical methods. Um, so numerical methods it predates sort of using calculators and uh, software to work out sort of solutions to things. And what it was used to use it was used to sort of work out where roots were of functions um, that you know would be quite complicated to work out. Okay, so uh, and quite often it's you, you look at the change of sign. So. Here's an example. Show e to the x plus 2x minus 3 equals 0 has a root between x equals 0 0.5 and x equals 0 0.6. So whenever you're asked to show that there's a good root between two particular x values, what you would do is you'd put those values into the into the equation, and what you would do is you would show that there's a change of sign. One of them should be positive, one of them should be negative. That means that it will equal 0 in between um, those two values. Make sure your equation equals zero first of all. So if it's not equal to zero, bring it over, bring it over to the other side so that you get it equal to zero. And then you put the values in. One will be positive, one will be negative, and then you've shown there's a root between those values. Okay, so I've put 0 0.5 into the equation, and I've got negative 0 0.351. Da -da 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 -da. I've also put 0 0.6 into the equation, and I've got 0 0.022. Da -da 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 -da. And as you can see, the top one is a negative, the bottom one is positive, therefore it must be equal to zero somewhere in, in this interval in between 0.5 and 0.6. Uh, to finish off the question, you need to state that, okay? So you say um, there must be a root between... 0.5 and 0.6 as there is a change in sign. So if I'm right. Okay, so it, there must be a root between those values since there's a change in sign. Now you need to state that, okay? You can't just show this part, you need to state it. It's a bit like putting QED on the end of a proof question. Okay, so also you may be given an equation. Here I've got one, x squared minus 4x plus 1 equals 0. The first part of the question may ask you to get it into some particular form. And here we've rearranged it to get xn plus 1 equals 4 minus 1 over xn. Uh, to do that, what would have happened would have been um, the 4x would have been brought over to the other side, the 1 would have been brought over to the other side, and then divided through by x to get 4 minus 1 over x. Um, then I would say, find the roots to two decimal places if x0 equals 3. So what you would do is, you'd notice here, x1 equals 4 minus 1 over x0. You'd put in your 3 here to get x1 equals 4 minus 1 over 3. Uh, that obviously would be um, a third of 4 would be 3 and 2 thirds, which would be 3.6 recurring. Okay. So again, x2, you'd put the 3.6 recurring back in here, so you'd get equals 4 minus 1 over um, 3.6 recurring, etc. I'm just going to work out the rest of these values now, and we'll see what we get. Okay, so I've worked that out to be 3.727272. I've put that back in to get 4 minus 1 over uh, 3.7272 and to get 3.731, etc. Goes on. Um, and then x4, I worked that out to be 3.7320, etc. Goes on. Uh, x5, again, it's the same, uh, same 3.7320, um, 3 Two zero and it goes on, and as to two decimal places, as you can see here, we've got uh, three point seven three, three point seven three, three point seven three, and then that means the solution to two decimal places would be three point seven three. And the third most common type of numerical methods type of question is something like this, where it says show that x equals two point five zero five is a root to f of x equals zero. Correct to three decimal places. So what you would do is you would figure out what the lower bound and upper bound would be, or the, sorry, the lower limit and the upper limit, the values that would could be rounded to give you this. So uh, the lower limit would be um, 2.5045. Upper limit would be 2.5055. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> 
2.5055. And you'd put both of those values into the f of x, and then you're sure there's a change of sign. And you'd write that out again about the change of sign part. Okay, uh, that means there must be a root in between those two values, and so that must be the that must be the answer to three decimal places. Okay, so upper bound and lower bound, or upper bound, upper limit and upper lower limit.